All right, <coughs> Harper, I am here. Where are the models? You said the models were going to be here already. They are here, sir. These are our models. This is Dana, Priscilla, and Vera. You're joking, right? We are a modeling agency, not a freak show. I asked for models, not for a bunch of randos from off the street. I know they're not your typical models, but being different is what makes them so beautiful. No, no. Live Glam is one of our most important clients, and I cannot present these models to them. I mean, look, look at this one. Look, her hair is like a rat's nest. And, and this one, you might as well have hired an elephant. And, and this one, I, I don't even know what to say about this one. There, there is nothing beautiful about being different. But, but sir... No, but we... nothing. If Live Glam does not like these models, I am finished. You know what? You clearly do not know anything about beauty. You are fired. You're all fired. I'm gonna get a bunch of new models. Oh, okay. You two are what I call models. You look great. Oh, perfect timing. Come in, you must be the uh, rep from Live Glam. Yes. Hello. Well, let me introduce you to our two models. I think they're going to be perfect for your upcoming campaign. Um, would you mind giving us a moment? So, what do you think? They look great. But we were hoping for models that looked a little bit more different. Dif what, what do you mean? I mean, they're, they're, they're tall and they're thin. They're, they're the perfect definition of beauty. What, what else could you want? You know what? I'm sorry, but I don't think this is going to work out. Thank you for your time. No, 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 wait, wait. I, I, I can find you different models. <sighs> I am so sorry about all of that. Hey. Are you ladies all right? Yeah, it's just I chose these models to be a part of the beauty campaign for Live Glam, but we all just got fired. This guy said that we weren't beautiful just because we look different. What? I think you ladies are all so beautiful. In fact, you ladies have the exact look I'm going for. We do? But for what? My name's Laura, and I'm actually the creative director of Live Glam. And I'd love it if you were the face of our new beauty campaign. Oh my god, really? Hey, look, you uh, found the girls that I've hired for your campaign. But you just fired all of us. That was a joke. You didn't fall for that, did you? <laughs> so what do you think? I think they're perfect. You see, being different is what makes them beautiful. That's why I hired all of them to be the face of our new beauty campaign. And that's why I'm firing you. So, are you ladies interested? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> and young lady, you seem to have an understanding of what true beauty is. I'd like to hire you as well. Wow. I would love that. <laughs> All right. Come on, I'll give you a ride to the studio. We got a lot to talk about. It's the way you hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me. Feel so holy, 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 holy. Okay, you know, this, can you this, stop? stop that, that's enough. You can go. Thank you. Really? I feel like she's doing amazing. Maybe we can at least let her finish. <clears throat> the last time I checked, I was the agent and you were the assistant. <laughs> I can try singing another song. People love when I sing Adele. I was, uh, <laughs> what is your name? Chrissy Elliott. Chrissy, listen. Honestly, it doesn't have anything to do with your voice, but if you want to make it in this business, you have to have the whole package, okay? You have to have the look and the style and the body and Honey, I mean, you don't have any of that. You're just, you're just not gonna make it in the music industry, okay? Please, 
I, singing's always been my dream. If you can- Okay, you know what? I don't have time for this, all right? Why, why don't you try another profession? Maybe a chef or a food critic. I mean, you clearly enjoy being around food. So now, if you don't mind. I can't believe how you just treated her. She's the best singer we've heard all day. Well, singers who look like her do not become superstars and they definitely do not win awards. But it's not what's on the outside that matters. It's what's on the inside. She's got the talent and that's what's important. If I were you, I would stop talking right now before I got fired. Next. <clears throat> ah. Ah, now see that, this is what I'm talking about. Hi, uh, you must be Jesse G. Yes, that's me. Wow, you are exactly what I am looking for. Okay, you, uh, you go ahead and start whenever you're ready. Great. <laughs> <clears throat> it's the way you hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me. Makes me feel so holy, 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 wow, holy. Wow, that's <laughs> terrific. <laughs> you know, I mean, like the voice can use a little bit of work, but uh, but you are exactly what I want. You have the look and you're pretty and you're slim. I, you know what? I can see it right now. The winner of the Best New Artist Award is Jessie G. <sighs> oh, thank you. <laughs> you know what? I think I want to sign you right now. Oh my God, really? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you uh, go outside into the lobby and wait for me, and I'll bring you all the paperwork. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, great. You can't be serious. She's not even the best singer. We should be signing Chrissy. She's the one with the real talent. Okay, well, Chrissy is not going to be a star because she is overweight and unattractive. I really think that you're making... Think, and I, think, no, no, think. I, I wait, just, wait, wait, I don't pay you to think. I pay you to do what I tell you to do. But I'm just you know what? I am sick to death of you talking back to me all of the time. You clearly do not no, understand what it takes to be a talent. success in this business. You know what? You are fired. What? Isaac, just, just, just go. I just Isaac. now. Yvette is devastated and leaves the room in tears. Isaac ends up signing Jessie and takes her on as a client. He gets her to start recording music right away and they spend a lot of time in the studio together. Within a few months, they complete her first album. He couldn't be any more confident. The album is an overnight sensation. Jessie quickly becomes one of the top artists and starts getting recognized everywhere she goes. She even gets nominated for 2021's Best New Artist Award. Isaac knew the award was hers. And then a few months later comes the day of the award ceremony. And now, the moment everyone's been waiting for. We are going to announce this year's best new artist. Do you remember what I said to you first time I saw you? You definitely have the looks to win this award. The 2020 Best New Artist of the Year Award goes to Chrissy Elliott. This is a joke, right? I'm so shocked by this. I don't even know what to say. I'm gonna say something. No, don't. First of all, I would like to thank my- You know what? This is ridiculous. Look at her. I mean, how, how does somebody who looks like this win an award? I mean, how did you even get nominated anyway? You know, it hasn't been easy getting here as someone who, well, looks like me. You see, I went from agent to agent trying to get someone to sign me. They all made fun of me and said, no one with my look could ever become a top artist. That is, until I met this wonderful person who believed in me. While others judged me for my looks, she saw me for my gifts. So she became my agent. 
And with her help, I was able to get the confidence I needed in order to make albums and succeed as the best new artist. So you see, the person that I would like to thank the most is my agent, Yvette. For showing not only me, but everyone that it's not what's on the outside that matters, it's what's on the inside. Get ahead. And cut. All right, that's a wrap, guys. Nice yeah. job, nice, nice job. job. Nice, nice, nice job, guys. Nice. Oh. Hopefully Devin finally learns his lesson this time. <laughs> well, I mean, Aiden plays the bully too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you true. know what we should do? We should have it where Aiden is the one bullying me, right? Mm -hmm. And then he learns the lesson. Wouldn't that be oh, right? That's, that's a good idea. Right? Hey. I mean, well, usually it's my mom teaching me the lessons. <laughs> Sometimes I'm teaching you the lessons, but a lot of times, I'm the one that has to learn the lessons. I have played more Karens than I can count. <laughs> True. <laughs> hey, Aiden, uh, if you have a sec, Darwin wants to talk to you about a new script idea he has. Oh, yeah, of course. I'll see you guys later. All uh, right, for sure, man. Bye. You killed that last scene, man. Nice job. Thanks. <laughs> oh, hey, do you think Dar would want to be in a vlog for my channel? Yeah, I'm sure he'd love to. Oh, awesome. Peace out, Ruben. See you, <laughs> Aiden, what's up, man? How's it going? I'm doing really good. Hey, say what's up to my vlog. What's up, you guys? I am so, so proud of Aiden. It is incredible how far... Oh, sorry, just one second. Shoot, you know what? I have to get this. I'll be back. Just give me one minute, okay? I'm so sorry. Uh, no worries. Oh my gosh, that has to be him. Do you want to go? Let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh, you're Aiden from the Diamond videos, right? We're sub to your YouTube channel. Yeah, you're one of our favorite actors. Do you mind if we get a picture? Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> our friends aren't gonna believe this. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, I'm about to talk to Dar about a new video he wants to cast me <laughs> for. Hey, you're that kid from those cringy YouTube videos, <laughs> aren't you? Did you see how Cody could blast yeah. him? <laughs> oh, actually, uh, Cody and Dara are friends. They clapped on a video. Oh, you know, I saw that one. The acting in all their videos is so bad. <laughs> Aiden's acting is the worst of all. Absolutely. Don't you have your own channel too? Uh, yeah. Are you serious? You probably don't even get any views. <laughs> uh, well, actually, I just broke a million subs. Oh. But you'll never get to two million. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I still don't get why anyone even watches those dumb stories they tell. Well, you know what we say. We're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Dude, you're even more cringe in person. <laughs> you guys aren't changing any lives. No wonder so many reaction channels clown these fools. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Aiden, I'm so sorry about that. I had to. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm fine. Are you sure? Should we continue vlogging then? No, it, it probably wasn't gonna be a good vlog anyway. Okay, tell me what's going on. Something must have happened. Well, these two guys just walked up to me and called me cringe. They basically just laughed at me. Man, don't worry about those two guys. They're just two haters. The important part is that there's so many people out there that love you. Oh, but it's more than that. I've been getting comments on my videos telling me I'm a terrible actor and saying all these horrible things. Look, maybe I should just stop doing YouTube. What? No way. Look, I'm sorry you have to deal with all that, but that does not mean you should stop making videos. Yeah, I mean, I. I try not to let it get to me, but it, it still really hurts, you know? I mean, what am I talking about? You're Tarman. Everyone loves you. Aiden, do you really think that I don't deal with haters too? You do? But, uh, I mean, you're putting out all this positive content. Who could hate on that? A lot of people. Check this out. 
what's wrong with Darman? It's just so bad. It's basically like a giant cringe factory of content. How could anyone say that? And I assume you know who PewDiePie is? Uh, yeah, he's like one of the biggest channels on YouTube. And he pretty much just made a video blasting me. Check this out. Oh no. <laughs> I'm super excited. I already hate it. Darman fan. <laughs> mm. Doesn't make any sense. I didn't think it would annoy me so much. Keep changing lives. How? Dumb. I hate it. That's crazy. Why would he do that? And these are just two examples. I literally deal with hundreds of videos and thousands of negative comments that are making fun of me all the time. I can't believe it. I mean, when I just see a few mean comments, it ruins my mood. How do you deal with all this? By focusing on the people that love me, not the ones that hate me. You see? Bye, Aiden. Hey, you did amazing today. Yeah, you killed it, man. See you later, love you. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Love you, too. Let me ask you something. Do you think that they love you? Um, yeah. Okay, and what about those fans that took a picture with you earlier? Do you think that they like you? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. And I'm assuming you must get a lot of nice comments on your videos too, right? Yeah, I, I get so many of those. Exactly. There's so many people that love you out there, so please don't focus on the ones who don't, because you can't make everyone happy. How? Oh. You know what? You're right. I, I can't believe I was thinking about giving up on my YouTube channel. I was so focused on the negative that I almost forgot all about the positive. That makes me so happy to hear. I'm so proud of you, Aiden. Keep your head up and I'll see you soon, all right? Thanks, Star. I really appreciate For it. For sure. Oh, wait. Um, what about the new script you want to talk about? Don't worry about that. It's more important for you to finish the vlog that you're working on. And maybe you should talk about what you just went through because I'm sure a lot of people would be able to relate to that. That's actually a really good idea. <laughs> Thank you so much. For sure. I'll see you soon. All right guys, so today I'm gonna talk about something I haven't talked about before, mean comments. You won't believe what just happened to me. You see, Aiden decides to vlog about his experience getting bullied and dealing with haters. When he gets home, he edits the vlog and uploads it onto his YouTube channel. To his surprise, the video explodes and gets millions of views more than any other video on his channel. Aiden continues vlogging with his friends and they openly talk about their personal experience with bullying and criticism. Things get a little emotional, but Aiden keeps it as raw and as real as possible. Over time, Aiden's following continues to blow up as he openly talks about real issues facing a lot of young people all over the world. He can't believe it. A few months pass, and then one day he happens to see the guys that made fun of him. That girl gamer video with Sniper Wolf was so dumb. Your acting was really cringe in that one. And the Halloween one was the worst. <laughs> Making a costume out of trash. Yeah, what? right. But I happen to really like that one. Oh, you really like, really that, like that one? one. Wow. Oh. I think you should just give up on acting. No one's ever. Hey, heard Sophia, it. are you okay? <sighs> you again. I just watched that tennis video you did. Worst oh one God. of all time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, for two guys that seem to hate her videos so much, you certainly seem to watch a lot of them. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just so we can see how cringe they are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and what you guys say to me? That I won't hit two million subs? Well, guess what? I just broke three million subs. So? <laughs> Bet you'll never hit four million. <laughs> Thank you, Scrap Oh my god, three million. Four, no. Who is he? Hey, I'm sorry to go through that. Are you okay? I'll be all right, just... It really hurts my feelings, you know? I've been having more and more people making fun of me lately. How do you deal with it? Well, as someone once told me, don't focus on the people that hate you. Focus on the people that love you. Because you can't make everyone happy. Wow. You're so right. I, 
I can't believe I was letting those people get to me. Hey, it's okay. Come on, let's go record another vlog. Okay. Mr. Weston, I'm Scarlett. It's truly an honor to meet you, sir. I'm such a huge fan of your films. Scarlett, when I first saw your photos, I thought to myself, I am gonna make that girl a star. Really? Oh, it's always been my dream to be a movie star, Mr. Weston. Oh, please, it's Harry. No formalities here. It's just you and me. Now, uh, let me take that coat from you. Oh, thank you. Uh, allow me. Um, please, have a seat. Make yourself at home. You know, six months ago, nobody even knew who she was. But after reading me, she's on the cover of a magazine. That's how fast I can make things happen. Really? Wow. That is so exciting. You know, I've been trying to figure out who I'm gonna cast as the new lead female in my next movie. Quite honestly, you kinda got the look I'm going for. Do you mind reading a few lines for me? Sure, I'd love to. Oh wait, before you start. Helps take the edge off. I don't really like to drink while I'm working. Thank you. Wow. You're gonna trim me down? That is not a good way to get a part in one of my movies. I'm sorry. You're right. Okay, here I go. So you see, you should never judge a book by its cover, because- Um, let's actually start with the last scene. Um, start with the line, Richard, I will never forget you. Okay, sure. Richard, I'll never forget you. Thank you for teaching me what it feels like to love again. And then they kiss. Well, don't just say it, act it out. Well, I need another actor for that. <laughs> it's okay, um, you can use me. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. I thought you wanted to be a star. I do. I've studied acting practically my entire life. I know that I'll be really good in this role. In this business, it's not about what you know. It's about who you know. Okay, I happen to be one of the most powerful people in Hollywood. Do you understand me? <sighs> okay. Oh gosh. Okay, I have to take this call. Look, why don't you just come back tomorrow night, read with all the other actors, okay? We'll do a table read. This time, do what you're told. Hey, Karen. <laughs> oh, of course I remember you. When I saw your photos, I thought to myself, I ain't gonna make this girl a star. Hey. Oh, hey, girl. So tell me, how did he go with Harry Weston? Good. I guess. 
Hey, what's up? Is everything okay? No. He got really touchy and made me feel really uncomfortable. But I don't know, maybe I'm overreacting. I mean, every Hollywood actress has to deal with this, right? What? No. That's not okay. He has no right to treat you that way. I don't know what else to do. He decides who gets cast in his new movie. Listen to me. You are one of the best actresses that I know. You don't have to put up with that. Yeah, but in this business, it's not what you know, it's who you know. He could be my only chance at becoming a star. You don't need him to become a star. What is that line you used to say from your favorite producer, Darman? The only person that decides how successful you'll be is you. Thanks, Remy. At least the other actors will be at the table read tomorrow, so it can't be that bad. <laughs> Scarlett, you're just in time. Come on in. Wait. Where's everyone? Oh, don't worry about the other actors. They're not important. What is important is this contract. It's to play the lead actress in my new film. <laughs> Does this mean I have the role? Uh, almost. Uh, in order to get this contract, he's got to do exactly what I say. You understand? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I just don't feel comfortable. I, I thought you wanted me for my acting abilities, not anything else. Scarlett, I thought I told you in this business, it is not about what you know. It is about who you know. Okay? You need me to become a star. So what's it gonna be? The only person that decides how successful you'll be is you. You're wrong, Harry. You may think I need you to become a star, but I can be successful on my own, with or without you. <laughs> you just made a huge mistake. Your acting career is over. You will never make it in this town without me, Scarlett. Oh yeah? Watch me. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be nosy, but is everything okay? Yeah. I just had this horrible experience with this movie producer who tried to take advantage of me. Wait, are, are you a man? Oh my god, I'm one of your biggest fans. I watch all of your movies. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much, but I can't believe that that just happened to you. I'm so sorry. Thanks. I just thought meeting this producer was going to be my big break, but... Maybe I'm just not meant to be a successful actress. Hey, there's only one person that gets to decide if you become successful or not. Do you know who that person is? Me? Exactly. And ironically enough, I'm actually looking for an actress to star in my next film. <sighs> so if you're interested, here's my card. Shoot me an email sometime. Really? Oh my god, I would love to. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I hope you feel better. Oh, 
OMG! You're Scarlett Jones. I cannot believe it's really you. I'm like your biggest fan ever. Oh, thank you. Do you mind if I get your autograph? Sure, no problem. Oh, awesome. Yes. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't Scarlett Jones. I must say I'm impressed. You're the talk of the town. Hi, Harry. I got it. Could you make it out to Michelle, please? Awesome. Hmm. Okay, there you oh go. God, awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. My friends are totally gonna freak. Thank you. Well, look at that. You've been on the front cover of a magazine. So how'd you do it? Which big shot did you have to sleep with? You know what, Harry? You may think women need some big shot like you to become successful. But you're wrong, because all I needed was myself. One day you'll realize your mistakes. But by that time, it'll be too late. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, are you serious? Harry Can Weston? I yeah. Can I help you? FBI. You're under arrest for harassment. What? Do you know who I am? Oh yeah. I know exactly who you are. You can't do this. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> Thank goodness. I know, right? I can't believe that worked out so well. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, sir. Can I trouble you for 22 cents so that I can get something to eat for today? Please? Yeah, right. You mean buy some more drugs? No, no. You homeless people are all the same. They're just lazy and a bunch of addicts. No, no, you got me wrong. See, I'm, I'm an artist and, and I work with celebrities and I have my own studio before it burned down in the fire and I just want- Yeah, right, buddy, and I'm Elon Musk. <laughs> No. And I'm Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> you are an Oprah. Please, get your yes, sir, I just yes. want 22. Oh, yes, please. I hear there's this great new place right down the street. I oh, think we have to go check it out. Francesco's. Yes. Hey. Uh, here. I hope that helps. Oh my God, sir. I'd give more, but I don't really carry much cash. Thank you so much. You have no idea what this is going to do. I could eat the entire day off this. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I'm Charlie. I, I don't mean to be nosy, but I couldn't help but over here. You used to work with celebrities? Oh, yeah. You can look me up if you want. Uh, uh, type in Richard Hutchins, a celebrity artist. OK. Wow. Says you used to work with Marvin Gaye, mm -hmm. Robert De Niro, mm -hmm. even Muhammad Ali. Yeah, and that's just a few of them. There were a lot of others. You painted this. That one there is for Richard Pry. Wow, you really are a celebrity artist. Mm -hmm. I never would have known with the. I mean, I, I hey, look, look, look. I know I ain't much to look at standing here, but I used to have my old art studio until the Santa Monica fires burnt it to the ground. I lost most of my paintings. I lost all my art supplies. Charlie, I lost everything. I can't believe that happened to you. I'm sorry. So what's your plan now? I don't know what I'm going to do but I know what I don't want to do. I don't want to sit on that curb no more, Charlie. I don't want to hold that sign no more. I don't want to sit out here every single day begging people for money so that I can get myself something to eat. I just miss making people happy. Hey, 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 hey. it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Come on, let's get out. I'm sorry. You know, my dream 
was always to see my art showcased in an art gallery. Now, I may be 62 years old and homeless, but I just can't let that dream go. You know what, Richard? I'm going to help you. No, 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 Charlie. You didn't already help me enough. I can't ask uh, you to do nothing now. I got much bigger ideas. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, all right. Okay. Excuse me. Hi. Um, have you seen Richard today? I have sort of a surprise for him. He was taken in an ambulance this morning to North County Hospital. Wait, why, why? What happened to him? Blood clots all over his leg. He couldn't even walk. Poor guy. I don't know if he's going to make it. Oh, my god. It can't end like this. Thank you. Hi, uh, I'm trying to reach Richard Hutchins, please. I believe he was admitted this morning. Hold, please. Hello. Richard, hey, it's Charlie. I, I came back to see you today again, like I promised. Hey, Charlie. How's your leg? Honestly, it's pretty bad. I got it all wrapped up, and I can't feel nothing. <laughs> the doctor said they might cut it off. Oh, no, no, no. Don't tell me that. I just don't know what to do, Charlie. It just feel like... It feel like I can't win. No, no, no. no. Don't, don't talk like that, Richard. Okay? From now on, positive thoughts only. Because your thoughts become your reality. Okay, Charlie. All right. Okay, I want you to do something for me. I want you to tell me right now that you are already healed. But I, I don't understand. How am I healed? Just trust me, please. Okay. I'm already healed. For the grace of God, I'm already healed. Okay, now tell me that so many things have tried to beat you, but nothing can ever beat you. So many things have tried to beat me, but nothing can beat me. You have survived everything that your life has thrown at you, and this time will be no different. I've survived everything in my life that was thrown at me, and this time will be no different. This is the end of your losing streak, Richard. It's all up from here, you'll see. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you so much. I appreciate you even taking the time to call me. You're not alone, Richard. I'm here with you. Now you just focus on getting better, okay? I'll see you soon. Bye now. Hello, Richard. Your results are in. Still no Richard, huh? No. Well, if you see him, can you tell him that Charlie was looking for him? Sure. Thank you. No luck, huh? No. Just hope he's all right. Stop, 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 stop. Richard! Richard, hey, oh, I knew you were gonna be okay. Hey, Charlie, hey, I got some good news. Still got this here leg. <laughs> I can see that. Hey, I have some more good news for you. You do? Yeah, yeah, just a little surprise. I brought a couple friends with me. Hey, Richard. Hi. Hey. Richard, we wanna help you become the person that you were meant to be. Okay. Come here, come check this out. That's why we brought you a whole bunch of art supplies. 
Charlotte, is all of that for me? Yeah, because I need you to keep painting, okay? I need you to make a whole lot more art, a, a whole lot more. All right, I, I can do that. And you said that you still have some of your old paintings, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great, we're gonna need those too. Okay. Richard, your whole life is about to change. What? I, I, I don't understand, what's happening? You'll see, but I need you to be ready. Oh, I'm ready. Lord knows I've been ready. Okay. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye, y'all. A whole new life is waiting for you. Richard. Hey, Charlie. Hey, I gotta show you something. What? What is it? Uh, just come on. Uh, okay. Hey, Charlie, what you got to show me? Just get in. But what about all my stuff? Oh, no, don't worry about it. We'll load it all up for you. You might not be homeless after today, Richard. No. Really? He's gonna freak out when he sees a surprise. I know. Come on in, Richard. Hi. Hello. Hey. Uh, what's going on, Charlie? Oh, you are about to find out. These are my other friends who helped us put all this together. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Okay, type in richardhutchinstudio.com. Okay. What's this? That's your new website. Hey, that's my name up there and everything. Wow. It's got your whole story on here. I've been sharing it on social media and people are going crazy for it. And in exactly 12 minutes, we are gonna start selling some of your paintings online through your website. I, I, I can't believe it. I, thank you, thank you all. Thank you, thank you so much. This. Your life is gonna change tonight. Don't forget. Oh, yep, we got you another little surprise. Oh, wow. Look at this. Check it out. You got me a suit? We did. And we have one more big surprise coming up. <laughs> Why are you crying, man? It's happiness. This is it's all happiness. Would you mind getting in the towel? Yeah. All right, Richard. Why don't you go and take a nice hot shower? And then you can try on your new suit. Thank you. And we'll be out here when you're ready. Thank you. Thank you all so much. You have no idea what this means to me. Thank you. Let me show you where the bathroom is. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> Woo! Yeah! 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 Richard! Richard, we just broke $10,000. Wait, another sale just came in. We're at $11,000. What? That's amazing. Wait, wait, wait. $12,110 now. That's just insane. Richard, Richard, come here. You got to see this. You look amazing. I ain't had on a suit in, in I don't know how long, you know? <laughs> I feel like a thousand bucks. <laughs> well, you should feel like, refer refresh it. What? You should feel like 14,792 bucks because that's how much art you've sold. No, really? Yeah, <laughs> come here, come look. And another sale just came in. <laughs> Ring the bell, Richard. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Oh, I'm Ring ringing it, Charlie. <laughs> 
$57,792. That's how much you've sold so far. Can you believe that? I can't. I mean, I really can't. I mean, it's like I'm, I'm living in a dream or something. Pull up over here. Oh, uh, where we at, Charlie? I told you I had one last big surprise left. All of those people, they're here to see you, Richard. Your artwork is now hanging in a gallery just like your dream, and today we are gonna celebrate, so I hope you're ready. Are you okay? It's just that I've prayed so long for this moment in my life. Thank you, God. Thank you for blessing me with this moment. Thank you. Thank you very much. Everyone is so excited you're here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to be here too. <laughs> well, before we go inside, is there anything you want to say to the crowd? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd like to say a few words, please. Uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> um, my name is Richard. <laughs> uh, 24 hours ago, I was, I was homeless. I was sleeping out there on them streets. I had to beg people for money just so I could get myself something to eat every night. And at my age, when you're homeless, people just think that your life is over. And if I'm being honest, I thought my life was over too. But then, somebody reminded me that I should never give up hope. Somebody reminded me to never let nothing break my spirit. Yeah. Yeah. And that I should never, ever, ever give up on my dream. Right. Yeah. So I just want to take the time to thank God for bringing this angel into my life. Thank you. My thoughts got real, real dark. But then somebody reminded me have positive thoughts because my thoughts become my reality. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. I appreciate that. Um, but I, I, I can't take any credit because because we just helped you become the person that you were meant to be. Let's give it up for Richard. Yeah. Yeah. There's a whole wall dedicated to you inside the gallery. Come on, let's check it out. Yeah. Well, that felt like a movie. This whole week has been like a movie. <laughs> hey, hey, can we pull over here? Sure, yeah, yeah, okay. pull over, please. Crazy to think I spent all them years sitting right there. Now you've sold over $100,000 worth of paintings and just exhibited at your own art show. Charlie. Words cannot express how much I appreciate everything that you've done for me. Thank you. You're welcome. I guess with all the money you made, you're never gonna have to come back here again, huh? I may not sleep here, but I'll still come back here. What for? So I can help out the next person, like you helped me. <laughs> hey, Regina. Yeah? 
What you think about sleeping in the hotel room tonight? What? Are you serious? Mm-hmm. You ain't got to sleep out here on the streets no more. I'm going to help you get back on your feet. Just like my friend Charlie did for me. Really? You mean I can sleep in a real bed tonight? Oh, my God. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thank you. <laughs> well, come on. Now I get all your stuff. Come on, let's go. <laughs> What would you say your dream is? My dream is to, is to walk in a museum one day and just see my picture with my painting on the wall. I don't want to you know what I don't want to do, Charles. I don't want to go back down the route and sit on that cart. That's what I don't want to do no more. I miss making people happy. You ready? Alright, here we Let's go. go. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. Hey guys, five days ago I was homeless. Never again. I, I, what I didn't do, I didn't, I didn't give up my dream. I didn't lose hope. My spirit wasn't broken. This night is not for me. It's for every homeless person or homeless artist that is left on the streets out there. This is for them. And I promise you to this end, I'll pay it forward. Okay? I get a job, I promise you will never be hungry again. We don't allow homeless people in the restaurant, right? But he says he's here for an interview. The applicant who I am interviewing used to run a Kitchlin Star restaurant. That was me. I'm not gonna fall for a little scam. I'm just trying to feed myself. Leave now.